Hello creative friends welcome to my art room let's do some paper weaving so I took a virtual um, art retreat this summer that was so much fun so and I learned how to do paper weaving I'm going to show you my technique and we're going to use this fabulous paper that we created in our last video it's so fun and super easy just gesso newspaper and watercolors so you're just going to cut out a square piece or a rectangular piece of paper and you're going to fold it in half and then you're going to cut slits into it you want to make sure not to cut it all the way apart um, because you need that that's what you're going to weave the paper through and you're just going to cut them I like doing odd numbers but you can do even ones and then you'll just lay it out you want to leave like an inch or an inch and a half and then you're just going to cut out strips of paper <laughs> you just want to make sure that they are the same width as um, the paper that you cut out I mean if you have it if it's a little bit longer than your square that's okay because you can just trim it off and you'll see that I will do that so I just have a bunch of paper scraps um, you can do so you can use so many different things um, to do these kind of weavings um, you could use fabric or even like ribbons work really well lace whatever you want it will work out so great you'll see here them use a baby wipe too that I kind of used in another project but it's so simple so you're just going to cut out your strips if you want to be more precise with this then by all means go for it um, you guys know me I'm kind of free and fun and I want this to be loose and that's how I create but you may be more precise and you can measure out the slits that you make and um, the strips and that will work out great too so after you're done with that I'm just gathering more paper <laughs> I guess I could have cut that part out um, but I'll be back here in a second hopefully and I I'm just gonna keep cutting down strips. So I found some other stuff here too. I really wanted some book pages. So I have some here, so I'm gonna cut um, some strips out of that too. And I kind of cut that down and then you'll see that I'm going to cut them apart. It's an older Reader's Digest book. So it works out great. I think it's the perfect size for these kind of paper weavings. And you're just gonna make a stack. I like keeping these little strips um, just in a little container and then I can reuse them. This is the baby wipe that I use for another project. So I'm just cutting that down um, into strips too. So like I said, you can weave with anything that you can cut into a strip. <laughs> it will work out great. And I am so excited to show uh, more of these weavings, but it's super relaxing and super easy. So, and Lisa does her um, weavings a lot different than I do mine, but I found this is a little, this is the way that I do mine. Um, I think it's, it's fun and it works out well for me, but you should definitely check her out and you'll see all of her tricks, which is great. And once you get a stack, I'm going to kind of go through my bag here, my bag of scraps and see what else I can find. But paper weaving is so fun. I remember that I used to love it so much when I did it in school. And I'm just going to open up this envelope. It has a beautiful pattern. Now what I noticed is that I needed more contrast in my strip. So contrast is key. So it's nice if you have kind of a bold kind of pattern. And this has a lot of black in it. So I just think it will bring it together. And that beautiful paper that we made <laughs> with the newspaper is the perfect vehicle for this kind of weaving. I'm going to show you another weaving that I did too. And then how you can embellish these two um, but you'll see that but we'll start in a second you're also going to need a glue stick for this too um, I mean you could probably do it without it but it just gives you a little bit more control so I'm gonna move the scraps out of the way and then I'm gonna grab my strips okay and you'll see here that I have all my slits are ready to go and I'm going to start weaving. So I'm going to go under the first strip and then over the second and then under and then over and under and over and over under and over. So that's it. And then I'm going to start the other way on the next strip. Okay, so that's how that looks. And then I will flip this over and I'm going to add a little bit of glue on the edges. And that will kind of just keep this weaving in place. This is not going to be a tight weaving. It's going to be very loose, um, but it works out very, very well. So we one down <laughs> and then I'm going to put the glue stick on and now we're going to go over. So I'm going to go under the first one over and then under the fourth one. 
and that's going to go over the fifth one and then we're going to go under the seventh one and then we have that one so that's the way it goes and then you're just going to repeat the pattern so this time we'll go under the first strip I'm going to just glue this down first and it just keeps things sturdy you could use tape and that would work great too so let's grab our other piece we're going to go under and then we're going to go over and what I love about these and then we'll go under again you might have to fiddle with it a little bit but it's relaxing and you can do so many fun things with these I mean it's just amazing <laughs> and then we'll go under and then we're going to go under again for the last little piece just like that and then you can kind of pull things up and then I'm going to apply the glue and I will just keep working that's kind of the pattern that we're going to do and I like to cut odd number of um, strips for um, whatever I'm weaving but you could do even ones too and I'll kind of show you that I'll start out with like an even number in the other one that I did and then um, I add another strip and I just like the way that that looks it's just a preference thing I think it looks great either way so we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna go over and then under the second one and then the third one we're gonna go over and then under and then we're going to go over and under and they're both going to be over <laughs> the first and the last so that's just a good way to know and that was the baby wipe that I use so you'll just apply a little bit of glue and you just keep going and you can start over or under on your first one or not even care about this and just kind of do your own thing you'll see here that I didn't cut enough so I'm gonna cut this strip a little bit skinnier and I love the way that that turned out too so this is fun we're having a good time we're just creating um, something really cool to add to our journal so it doesn't have to be perfect um, just have fun with it and make your strips whatever crazy side you want it'll work out super great <laughs> you promise and I love these. I've already used them on my journal. I'm going to post a video on my Instagram and maybe on YouTube shorts. I'm not sure. And um, I will show you how I use um, one of the weavings. I'm going to use the other one. So you can just cut the, the, cut the slit a little bit more if you need to. I didn't cut up enough um, to the edge. So I'm just being careful not to go all the way to the edge, but just to give myself a little bit more room to weave. And this will be my last piece and then I'm going to trim. So you can make lots of little strips or bigger strips. Um, whatever you want is fine and it will all work out. And this is a great technique to do with kids. And I find it relaxing, um, especially with this technique, because you're working on, um, you, you know, you're just working on just putting the papers through the strips that you created so it makes it super simple I think and then I'm going to trim off the edge edges of my paper and I will save those scraps because I'll use them for something else but I love the way that this turned out it has that beautiful texture from the newspaper and it was really fun and super simple now I am going to grab another one so I'm going to grab a piece of book page and I'm going to weave that one so you can see it and I'll let you watch and you'll see how I embellish it so you just need a couple things super simple and please don't forget to like and subscribe <laughs> I really appreciate you and turn on those notifications bells too so you don't miss any of my videos thank you so much for all your comments if there's something that you want to see please leave it in the comments so I can create a video for you you can even take a pencil and kind of make sure that you don't go too far or you don't cut open the edge too but you'll see here that I'm going to do an even number of the strips and um, I didn't like the way that that was so I'm all you'll see that I'm gonna cut another one too so you'll see but I'm counting them out. I think I did eight. <laughs> so I'm going to actually add nine. And I'm just making sure that everything goes to the line. And then I'm going to lay everything out. And then I'm going to grab my strips and start working. So I'm going to start under again. And I'm going to go over. And under and over and 
under and over and you'll see here that I'll be like, okay, but it doesn't match the other end that I started with. So I'm gonna cut another strip. So if you don't do um, odd numbers, then it won't match. So um, just keep that in mind. <laughs> okay, I believe that's true. One, two, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I only did seven, so I'm gonna cut eight. So maybe you need to do even numbers. I don't know, but you'll figure it out. <laughs> okay, so let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so I think there is nine there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then I'm going to apply glue on the edge and I'm going to speed this up so you can watch me do this a little faster. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you for next week's video. Happy creating. Bye bye my wonderful creative friends. See you next time.